Good evening, everyone. I'm Erin Burnett. Out front tonight, tax war. Two respected experts wrote an op-ed today that the Obama campaign immediately seized on. It was enough to prompt them to send this email to their troops. Subject line, Romney's role in tax shelter raises questions. The reason? Well, the op-ed, written by two experts who recently wrote another article critical of Romney's personal tax strategies, says that since Romney refuses to release his tax returns, his views on taxes are, well, revealed by what he did while on the audit committee of Marriott Corporation. Now, I'm going to explain exactly what happened in a moment, but first, let's just lay out the key accusation. The authors say that, quote, a key troubling public manifestation of Romney's apparent insensitivity to tax obligations is his role in Marriott International's abusive tax shelter activity. So, does the accusation of insensitivity, translation, lack of ethics, add up? Well, Mitt Romney was the chief of the audit committee for Marriott for a while, from 1993 to 1998. In that role, he would have been responsible for overseeing the company's tax returns. During his tenure, Marriott International was accused of using an, uh, a tax scheme called Son of Boss. Now, we reached out to Marriott and are still awaiting their response, but in court documents, they have denied the claims. Big shot tax attorneys and investment bankers love to give their complicated tax creations catchy names. And this one, Son of Boss, does sound like the mafia style shelter that it was. It was called Son of Boss and it set up various structures beneath other structures. Basically to move money around. You could turn a gain into a loss and of course that means it's all, it can offset gains and bottom line you don't pay taxes. Now look, the tax code is 7,300 pages long for a reason. Because if you can read them all you can legally come up with ways to minimize your tax bill. But Son of Boss was over the line. The IRS took Son of Boss users to court and won. And, and this is important because even though Marriott denies doing anything wrong, they had to pay up for what they did. All in, the IRS has gotten $3.2 billion in back taxes from more than 1,800 people who used Son of Boss. Marriott International was one of the biggest offenders, eventually paying more than $29 million in back taxes. Now that puts them really in the top. The biggest offender, according to the IRS, was uh, one company which paid $100 million. Now critics of Son of Boss actually include John McCain, who called it a hoax and a scam back in 2004 and said, quote, one of the greatest beneficiaries of this tax shelter, and that is all that it is, a tax shelter, is a very profitable hotel chain, Marriott. And he's not alone in his criticism. We called in our tax strike team to get their view on this. Daniel Shaviro, a professor at NYU, told us that Son of Boss was a truly abusive tax shelter, the most abusive in U.S. history. But he did note something really important. At the time, it was a bit more ambiguous. Because after all, I mean, think about the 90s, everybody. These were the days of Enron's rise. And Enron was the master of tax shelters. Sure, they all ended up being a joke and causing a massive crisis. But at the time, it looked like they worked. They were in vogue. So here is the bottom line. It is fair to hold Mitt Romney accountable for Marriott's use of an abusive tax shelter while he was the chairman of the audit committee. And it is fair to say that Romney knows a lot about what's right and wrong with tax shelters. As he himself says. I don't pay more than are legally due. And frankly, if I had paid more than are legally due, I don't think I'd be qualified to become president. All right, but here's our original question. Does the accusation add up that Romney's sign-off on some son of boss is a troubling public manifestation of Romney's apparent sensitivity to what is right? Does it add up to a personal ethical reflection? And we asked the Romney campaign to come out front tonight so they could answer these, these serious questions directly. They declined.